Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we will show you how to remove and replace power window switch, master window switch on a BMW 5 Series E60, E61. That's the one we're talking about guys right here. Stay with us, we're going to show you how to do it now. And don't forget to subscribe, we have many helpful videos. Help us grow that channel so we can help more. So in order to, we will need to remove the door panel, so we will need to disconnect the battery at least 30 minutes before you uh, start working on the panel guys. So right here there is one screw that you need to remove uh, for, uh, for that cover and that we will need to remove now out of there. And there is two more nuts that we will need to take care of as well, but uh, you might not even do that. Okay, well we can reach it like that. So now we need to disconnect the positive and the negative cables. You might get uh, codes after that, uh, lights, airbag lights or something. You shouldn't, but if you do, we guys have a video how to reset those with max assist. And we have a great video to see how to replace a battery without going to the dealer and pay for programming. If you want to do it yourself. Okay, we just disconnected this one now. So we're good to go. We're going to wait about 30 minutes and we're going to proceed with removing the door panel. Okay, so now we'll need to remove that airbag cover there with a plastic trim too. You can remove it like that because there is a hidden bolt screw underneath it here. Now uh, you can see this one is with a T, actually T25 or T30, T30 right here. That's the screw we're talking about. We need to go ahead and remove that one now. Okay, like that. And next. What we will need to do, uh, there is another cap that we need to remove there and there is a little screw underneath it. So careful not to break this one like that. There is a, there is a few of screw. Go ahead, take this one off now. Now we're going to get a two prime screw and start popping the panel out of there. And when you get up here, it's important to pull this way, not up. Some cars are up, but this one you need to pull towards you because there is many clips. Okay, those are the clips we're talking about. You need to remove the latch here. Now we need to start disconnecting cables. That's the airbag here, guys. So you have to be careful here. And that's why, that's why we disconnected the battery as well for this one. So once we remove it, we're gonna show you how to do it. Okay, when you pull it out, okay, that's the one that you need to press. Okay, press like that, like that. And then you need to pull, never wiggle left or right because we have two very fragile pins inside that we need to remove. Now we need to disconnect. Okay, you can see we need to disconnect the wire for the, oh, who knows that what that is. Uh, the, mirror here somehow let's see we're gonna take that cable the the one for the door latch off you pull this one pull it to the back so it, it can give a small room like that now we have uh, we have one wire here right here that we will need to remove as well so just squeeze in right here like that that's little light and pull out then we need to do the speakers. You just pull those out, grab them, pull them. And now that's the another wire here for, I think it's for light as well, that we need to remove. And this one there. So uh, on the bottom, we have the light bulb here. So now we need to remove this one somehow. So we'll just pull the bulb out like that. Okay, and we'll pull it now through the outside. Okay, like that. You can get the cable out now. And we're ready to remove the panel, guys, and let us show you where all the clips are now. You can see three there, four on the bottom and on the front two. And we have all the side clips that you need to make sure that they still stay here when you push it in. Otherwise, you won't be able to snap those. Okay, guys, so once you remove the door panel, uh, 
you can see that's where the window switches are the power window switch and uh, we can reach it from right there from the back but okay let us show you now there is a there is a, uh, a one one nut that we need to remove with a nine millimeter socket there okay and one on top right there okay like that don't lose those they're just uh, nuts for pl on plastic screws you can see like that so they don't hold really good now we're going to press those metal things in okay those clips and when we press them in we can pull it out it's a little bit complicated to get all of them at the same time but if you get one side first then you can do the, the other side as well okay it started coming out only one holding now okay right there okay let's see if something else is holding now okay and that's the switch for the mirrors and for the windows guys so uh, that's how you remove it you just get a new one and when you get a new one you just push it in install the nut and install the door panel again uh, we have a video how to install the door panel on our channel where we take uh, take it off so you can see if you have any problems so thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe please uh, please subscribe so we can grow that channel and let's make it big together thank you for the support and see you next time